Hi and welcome to the fourth video in my series on getting started with SketchUp 2014 Pro. My name is Chris and in this video we're going to talk about measuring and construction lines. So let's go ahead and dive right in here. I'm going to start by just drawing a rectangle here. In our last video we talked about rectangles, polygons, arcs, and circles, so you should be familiar with that. And I'm going to go up here and use the measuring tape tool. The measuring tape tool does a couple things for you. One, it will measure a length for you. You can see this is 25 foot 9 and a quarter, um, and we can, we can get that measurement. Another thing it does is it drops construction lines, and you can define how far off of a surface, off or uh, an edge these are. So for example, let's say I want a construction line that's 10 feet off. There's a 10 foot off construction line. Um, additionally, you have the uh, you can always change how the behavior of your your measuring tape tool works by holding on the control key by pressing it once so you'll notice if i press it once i get this little plus and if i press it again i get nothing and that's that indicates whether or not you are just measuring or whether you're dropping a construction line construction lines are almost infinitely useful they're really fantastic when it comes to being able to drop in reference geometry that you don't want necessarily to show up in your final model. So, so that is uh, the measuring and construction lines functionality that SketchUp provides in a nutshell. Um, in some uh, future videos I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk more about and show you how to use it more in context. I just want you to be aware that it exists. So that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you thought this video was great, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought this video was fantastic, go ahead and subscribe, share it, and I will see you in the next video.